my head not chopped off? No. Hey, what's up people? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why this dude is now here. And what he's doing here. And what his name is. So see you later. Wait, no. See you later makes no <laughs> sense. <Never done>. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. No, see you now. Um, so yeah, I've actually, I've gotten a lot of questions by you guys of um, why Ricky is here, what he's doing, what we're doing together here. Who what is he? Yeah, who is he? Are you still in the frame? Yeah. Let's move it here. Uh, what he's doing here, what Project 33 is, what his part in is it. So I think we're just going to do like a random sit down video, just chat for a couple seconds. Um, like three seconds. But That's it. It, we, we don't have anything, anything scripted. So um, this might turn into a hell of a mess. <laughs> um, yep. Okay, so um, the people, the people who have been watching my vlogs for now a couple of weeks know that Ricky has been helping me out with my YouTube vlog um, by tell them what you've been doing with my vlog. Uh, so basically, I my background is in analytics and sort of content strategy, uh, specifically for I guess websites. Uh, but I was also doing video optimization, so when I met him, I saw that he was doing YouTube and then he was doing the daily things. Yeah. And I was like, hey, if you want any help with sort of the keyword strategy and just all around sort of content ideation, I can help you. And then he actually went full-fledged and took the opportunity, maybe took too much of opportunity. <laughs> and now I'm here also helping him with keyword research, content ideation, and just also just making sure that he's on his shit. Yeah, I mean, so he has been helping me out with the, with the vlog, so Ricky has been kind of seeing the evolution of, you know, Project 33 and what it has been before that, just like freelancing and doing stuff for, you know, for people on LinkedIn. And um, at some point when I had the realization that was pretty early on when I came to Bali that I was not super interested in building a remote company of, you know, having people like anywhere and everywhere. I mean, he was helping me out with YouTube and he was in the US, um, but for Project 33, Ben, my partner's in London, and then Ghost Riders, we have one in Cape Town, one in the US and one in the UK, and it's just like, I realized that I don't want to do that. And so that's when I first had the idea of like, oh shit, why, you know, why don't I build something together with my friends that I know from New York who are like, all in this field, are all building their own personal brands and, and um, like that I enjoy being together with. And so I hit up a couple of my friends, I hit up Ricky, I said, hey, would you, would you be down to, you know, come to Bali and build this out together? And that was when, in November? December. In December I approached him. Beginning of December, yeah. And you said yes. Yeah. What made you say yes? Um, I think one, just the opportunity of being in Bali, I think that's an opportunity in itself and you shouldn't say no to that. Second of all, I think just because I've known him since... For almost a year now. Almost a year now. In May it's a year. And uh, I'm going to touch your face. No, please don't. Yeah, I'm going to um, touch his face. And I've known, I've just seen firsthand in New York City the hustle that he has and just the drive that he has and that's something that I want to surround myself with as well. Um, so that's another reason why, and the third reason is because I see great things for Project 33. Um, I always want to see Team 10, but it's not Project 33. Yeah, we're going to be 33 people. I wish it was Team 10, but, yeah. uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, but Let's I see... destroy something now! <laughs> I see a lot of opportunity for Project 33 and just where he's going and where I can help and sort of elevate you know, from what it is now to something greater. So I just think that there's a lot of opportunity of, you know, for success and to grow and to learn. And uh, that's kind of why I'm here. And also the weather in Bali and everything it's else not too bad either. Yeah. Um, so for context, Project 33 is a personal branding company or agency and we help founders build their personal brand on LinkedIn. And the reason why I asked Ricky is two reasons because Obviously, I knew he had kind of like the skills that what were needed in like this online kind of digital marketing, personal branding um, field because he's building his, he's, he's growing his, uh, his YouTube channel, he, he posts on his Instagram and he's done a lot of 
YouTube and SEO and website. And um, so I knew he, he kind of understood the space that we were going to move into. Um, and then the other thing is just because, I mean, I've known him now for a while. We're good friends, at least we pretend to in public. He, he's, he thinks that we're best friends, um, but I have to tell him that we're there. Yeah, he told, he told me a yeah, couple days ago that... Uh, sorry, no, <laughs> we're not friends at all. Uh, um, so, so that's why I asked him. And, um, but here's the interesting thing, and I think that's an interesting thing to talk about. How much do I pay you as a salary? Seventeen thousand dollars a week. No, that's not the number. Before taxes or after? <laughs> <laughs> that's not the number. Uh, zero. Yeah. Um, I don't pay him a salary. Um, not because I don't want to. I mean, actually, yesterday we got a new client, and I paid full you money. Um, but right now, Project Thirty Three is not at a point where I can hire people full time. Um, but you still said yes. Yeah. How? And then I really want to know the answer because I, I really don't fully understand it yet. Well, I think for me, I, I worked in New York City for six years and, uh, you know, I had a really good salary, a really good job, you know, really comfortable, nice apartment. And in May, June, I gave all of that up because I wanted to kind of start, not start over, but just sort of shift tracks a little bit, shift lanes, and do something that I really enjoy, which is creating content, and then also including my background, because I do love digital marketing, I do love SEO, I do love figuring things out, so I wanted to kind of blend everything together, but not be in the corporate world, I guess, and uh, sort of really enjoy, enjoy being around the people that I like to be around, aka my friends, and also, you know, traveling and just filming and creating content, so, this opportunity kind of had that all in like a bundle in one package and that's one of the reasons why I took it and I knew that you know obviously the money in the beginning or maybe middle maybe end I don't know wouldn't be there but you know that to me was sort of second thought I guess I know money's important and that's how we live and that's how we do things but for me making memories and creating something is so much greater than having a paycheck yeah, uh, and learning and growing uh, professionally and personally, I think that's a bigger investment than getting money investment, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, I, I appreciate this human being a lot for coming here and helping me out, help like building this out together, like it's not my thing, it's now our thing. Um, and um, I definitely see a lot of like potential if you know if if it's the right kind of people and you know that's why I want to surround myself with other people that that I believe in and that I can trust and that I know have the skills to you know build this out with me and um, I mean it's a startup so Ricky has been doing like all kinds of things helping me with with video stuff yeah you know now we have a real camera here so we can up the content game a bit let me know if you notice that the quality has gotten better on this channel because uh, I mean, it was pretty amazing before that already. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, he's helped me create um, um, case studies and pitch decks. He's helped me with you know content calendars, coming up with ideas. He's now building his LinkedIn up. So it's really anything and everything. And I think we're gonna like stop the video here. Um, but but you guys should check Ricky out, his YouTube channel. Um, he's doing a lot of ukulele stuff, and it's amazing. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys have any other questions of because I don't fully understand like how much context you guys have. So obviously we're gonna be working together for for a while now, and um, we're gonna be around each other every single day, which is another thing, you know. <laughs> but um, but um, let me know if you have any other questions you want to know about Ricky, about me, about Project Thirty Three, about what we're doing here, you know, what he's doing, what I'm doing. Anything you want to know, I want to, you know, I want to, one of the things that I want to do is building this company, um, which is, you know, my first company, my first try at building something entrepreneurial, um, as transparent as possible and really like take you guys along the journey of how we grow this. Um, right now it's us two in Bali and a couple of, of people, you know, throughout the world. Um, 
But yeah, I want to take you guys on the journey and I want you to understand what we're doing and I want you guys to engage with what we're doing and you know, maybe be part of it somewhere along the way. So let me know any feedback you have, any questions you have, any insults you want to send our way, I'm down for that too. Um, drop them down below and then we might make a follow-up video or answer them, you know, in a, in a future vlog. Anything else to add? That's pretty much it. Then make sure to like and subscribe. Leave, a comment. Leave a comment if you think you should start paying me uh, eventually. I paid you yesterday, some of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, see you in the next video. Until then, peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate love. But why not? Holy shit, I just wanna make